Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah from the Jeffco Boys and Girls Club. I'm going to show you guys how to do a little abstract painting today. And first up, we're just going to need to get everything together, which is going to start with our different acrylic paints. Um, you just need a couple of these depending on the size of your canvas and pick whatever colors you like and would want to mix together. And then you need some water and glazing medium. The glazing medium is optional. And then just a couple of cups or jars to mix all of your paint together in. Once you guys have all of your materials, you're gonna set up your workspace. Um, I only have carpet in my apartment, so I have to use like a tarp and then some trash bags to cover up the floor to protect it. So wherever you are gonna do this at your house, make sure your parents help you out and you get everything covered up because it's gonna be very messy and we don't wanna get paint on your floors. So once you have that set up, you're gonna get your materials and then you're gonna mix a little bit of paint in one of those jars and put a little bit of water in there with it. And if you have the glazing medium, add a little bit of that in there too, but you don't need it. Um, you're gonna swirl that around and get it all mixed up with the water and the paint, and then pour that on your canvas in whatever manner you like. And then you're gonna do the same thing with one of your other colors. Mix it in the jar with some water, and then pour it on the canvas with your other color. And then you'll literally lift up your canvas and move it around, rotate it around, so that paint can move around in some patterns on there. And it will take a couple of layers. So you, after you do that once and it kind of sets, you'll add some more onto it and then repeat the process until you have the whole canvas covered. And I used a huge canvas here, but I would recommend starting smaller. And you can pick canvases like that up at Walmart or Target when you guys go out to buy groceries. So enjoy. different painting that I've completed before here to kind of illustrate these last processes while that other one dries. But once you have your painting completed, you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for about 24 to 48 hours um, because it's gonna to need to dry before you can do anything else with it. But once it's dry, you're gonna get some just regular black acrylic paint and a brush and then cover the edges so that they all look uniform. And then the last step is gonna be using this stuff right here. It's called gloss varnish. And what that does is it not only makes your painting look kind of shiny, but it also protects it from wear, which means as time passes and stuff, it's gonna keep your painting from falling apart, cracking and stuff, um, in addition to making it look cool. So, hope you guys enjoyed everything today and good luck in your own painting adventures.